Hi, I'm Josh Summers with High Country Salmon and today we're going to fill it a salmon. Okay, so first off you want to grab the, um, the front fin there just um, with your left hand um, if, you're left, if you're right handed um, or vice versa. Um, so first off what I'm going to do is just follow this line, um, this curved line that just goes from the fin right to the back of the head. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to follow that um, and we just make an incision just down by the fin and just in there follow it right down to the head and you'll feel the knife come to the spine and you just want to turn your knife on about a 45 degree angle put a little bit of pressure on it not too much or you'll cut through the spine just hold the head firmly with your left hand sort of smooth movement just bring your knife right down to the tail end right out the end and then flip it over and have a fillet Okay, so once you've got the first half off, you just flip the fish over, and we're pretty much going to do the same again, only this time uh, I'm going to make a small incision just down, just down here by the anus. Um, so I'm going to go from the anus right down towards the tail, um, just horizontally. Um, and the reason I do that is because um, sometimes if your knife is on the wrong angle when you get down to about here, um, it can catch that fin and you can end up with it on the fillet which is rather difficult to um, cut off. Um, so once that's done, um, we go back up to the head end um, and again grab it with your left hand and we want to do the same thing. So we want to come in from the belly right down following that, that curved line down to the bottom of the head. And so we're just going to put that in there right down to the spine and you feel the spine and then again knife on a 45 degree angle. I find it easy to just flip the, the collars um, just around with my finger like that and then just press and it's also easier if you put your hand sort of under the fillet and lift it up a little bit sort of get get everything out of the way right down to the tail end knife out and then there you have the other side of the fish. Okay so now that we've got the two fillets, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to take the rib cage off. Um, I'll just demonstrate on one side, um, it's exactly the same on both sides, um, however they're opposites. Um, so what we want to do is just grab the, the bottom fin there like that, and we want to cut the anus off, and it's as easy as that, and just scrape some of the slime off. Um, just like that. Now we start from the head end again and just make a small cut just behind the rib cage there, right along. So we're just nice and gently right down to the bottom and lift it up with your left hand so that you can see where you're going. And the objective of this really is to try and cut these off with as as little flesh on the rib cage as possible. Um, so you really want to get as close as possible to the to those rib, ribs. And just slowly work your knife down, right as far as you can go, right down to there. And at this stage, it doesn't matter if I haven't caught quite all of it off, because um, the bones, when the rib cage is on there, the bones actually finish about there somewhere. Um, so when we do our fillets in the shop here, um, we actually leave that on. Now if I was going to make this a sashimi fillet, from here I would cut the fin off, just like that. And you can keep those and they're rather quite good for smoking. Just sort of tidy it up a bit, cut off any excess rib cage, and we'll just do the same with this. Okay so we're just, just tidying, tidying it up a bit. A bit. And just take that off there like that and also little bits of spine um, they're not a bad thing that means you did really well taking the fillets off yeah, give it a 
a little clean. Just some of the scales and slime off. And there we have a sashimi fillet, ready to be skinned um, or pin boned if you're going to pin bone it. And um, it's ready to go.